You know, with the majority of Codename Kids Next Door episodes that, I re that I've reviewed over the last year, or well, number four episodes, it really feels like that these episodes felt like the most entertaining, even though the number four is supposed to be the stupid one in the group when it came to his selfishness and self-absorbed attitude, but... I'm gonna be totally real with you. We watching these episodes have changed my opinions differently than the opinion than the opinions that I have when I first watched these episodes during my childhood. I get that there were other episodes from the show that centered around zombies that came out after this episode and the vampire episode, which is a really good episode for the Halloween season. Keep in mind, I need to talk about a lot of Halloween episodes that center around the season of Halloween, and with this episode centering around number 4 doing a bet against his friends by getting the most candy than they do, it really feels the most accurate, considering that I actually found this episode a lot more humorous when it came to number 4 antics. This episode, like I said, centers around the bet. Which leads to number 4 having an encounter with Captain Sticky Beard. Since that, Captain Sticky Beard and the game has a bucket load of candy, or a room full of candy, after it was showcased in one of the first episodes where Captain Sticky Beard made his debut. And that's literally it. It's not really a serious episode in comparison to the other. Codename Kids Next Door episodes, but with this being a trick or treat episode centering around a bet, there was nothing to it, but it's still entertaining regardless. One of the reasons on to why number four found Halloween stupid is mainly being dressed up in a costume and begging for candy. You know, considering that this is possibly the first time he ever went out trick or treating. It's literally a force for anyone who never went out in Halloween in a costume. Because I'm pretty sure that there was at least a few handful of people who never go trick-or-treating in their childhood. If they're not into candy or just going on a diet in order to become stronger and more healthier. But considering number four is none of those things, he has no competition against his friends. As far as I'm concerned, knowing full well that number one takes things seriously and yet he goes out trick-or-treating really shows that number four is definitely the odd one out of the bunch when it comes to Halloween. I understand that people may prefer other Halloween episodes that took the Halloween concept seriously, but this episode involving trick-or-treating is a better trick-or-treating episode than the Camp Laszlo episode. Because in all honesty, seeing number 4 trying everything in order to get more candy and he only accomplished by getting one by going to a parent's house. To tell you the truth, the fact that it was his first candy to get and he actually found it really fun really says something that this is definitely his first time. And to tell you the truth, this is a trick or treat episode that I actually prefer a lot more knowing full well that it takes its concept seriously. I understand that Camp Laszlo is taking place in the woods and it was a different premise entirely, but it didn't got me invested in the a lot of problems centering around the episode itself. It really feels humorous to think that number four is willing to outwit Captain Sticky Beard, who is somewhat intimidating in, in his debut appearance. And just by watching him being fooled by number four doing a prank on him by thinking that he has Halloween candy, but as it turns out, it's all bricks, is honestly convenient writing, knowing full well that they actually made the adults dumb down for the sake of this show to work. Like, sure, the adults in this show may be written differently, considering that people who aren't into the show didn't find the concept of kids fighting adults good, but we watching some episodes, and since I rewatched this show last November, it really feels like that there was a lot more going on when it comes to the antics involving codenamed Kids Next Door facing off the adults. Believe me when I say this, sometimes this show can improve on its own, but whenever I look at this show, when it comes to the eyes of other people's perspectives who haven't watched the show, it's it's obvious that not every single person will be into every single Cartoon Network show, 
even from the 2000s. Then again, there are multiple Cartoon Network fans that say that the 1990s and 2000s, despite the live action stuff, were the best, while everything else afterwards is the downfall, which for me personally, I mostly disagree, but there are different Cartoon Network fans that aren't the same no matter what. So anyway, the climax centers around number 4 hijacking the captain's ship with all the candy, which leads to Chewie and Gooey attacking him, but they abandon ship after realizing that the ship is about to launch off, off of a huge cliff after the main cliffs it's been launched off. And guess where the ship crashes? The base of Zecto V, which, to tell you the truth, knowing for what this Halloween bet is supposed to be, a handicap odds against number 4. It's really humorous to see him go up on top knowing full well that there was no other way that he's going to beat the other characters without the captain's ship full of candy. So, this is actually a clever ending. For the episode itself, even if, even if you can argue that there were other better trick-or-treating episodes, I still found this episode somewhat watchable to say the least. I mean, you can argue all you want that you probably wanted something more involving a Trick or Treat episode, but to tell you the truth, there was a reason onto why I didn't like the Camp Laszlo Trick or Treating episode. Believe me, if you sit through this episode, if you're expecting Trick or Treating and nothing more, then you won't be disappointed. You will find some entertainment out of it, and you'll probably be a fan of Codename Kids Next Door if you're new to the franchise. I'm giving this episode a 7 out of 10.